one of the things we need to talk more about in terms of preparedness is preparing our small businesses. If we're talking about more modifications, uh, more restrictions, sectoral and industry restrictions for non-essential services, as you've seen in LA County, as you've seen in other parts of the state, uh, as more and more counties move into this purple tier and we look at our own modifications statewide, not just those modifications, we are seen at a local level. We have to be more mindful than ever about the economic impact and consequences of these further restrictions. And it's why I wanted just to take this opportunity. I've shown many slides on many occasions, the work we've done in the past, what we proposed in our budget, what we did through executive orders uh, previous to the enactment of our budget in July, working collaboratively with the legislature, uh, as well as previewing folks on what we may be doing in the next fiscal year with a budget that I'm working on as we speak that we will make public in January to the legislature. Uh, and that has been important, but let me now offer some additional insight on what we are doing immediately. More in this space targeted at the most um, impacted sectors of our economy, small business is in particular. We are announcing today immediate relief uh, to provide billions of dollars of opportunity for small businesses that have collected sales taxes uh, and owe sales taxes in this first line up to $1 million of sales tax that is owed to get a three month extension. In essence, a float that, that sales tax is collected by the business uh, member it is in a bank account supposed to be sent to the state and the counties, uh, cities for distribution. Uh, you can hold that money. You can use that money uh, to float any obligations you have. It's a deferral and it's automatic for businesses that owe up to a million dollars in sales tax. We're going to expand interest free for businesses that have five million dollars in sales. I would change the language a little bit, so I want to clarify that second bullet point. Expanded interest payment agreements to larger companies with sales up to $5 million. Sales tax that is owed up to a million, but sales we're expanding uh, for immediate relief up to $5 million in sales. You just have to fill out a form. It's automatic for those other businesses. Fill out a form, the covid19.ca.gov website. It's a good first site, which will direct you to the appropriate agencies, the appropriate forms, covid19.ca.gov website. Here's some additional supports we're providing for immediate relief. And this is the emergency relief package, also in partnership with the legislature. This is money that we're going to out right away, half a billion dollars. Uh, I want to thank legislative leaders over the weekend, uh, working with our team uh, to broadly tip the hat to support using our reserve counts to get a half a billion dollars of additional grant money, up to $25,000 cash grants, not just to small businesses in this case, but also cultural institutions and nonprofits. We cannot forget the essential nature of our nonprofits, our community-based organizations, in terms of addressing the most vulnerable and the needs rather of the most vulnerable in the state of California. So these are grants up to $25,000. This program will be bridge just over the next number of weeks to what we will work on with the legislature in the next legislative session. We're also reminding people that tomorrow, literally tomorrow, because of the work we did with the legislature, again, Thank you to legislative leadership, budget chair uh, Ting and Holly Mitchell, and their strong support of our Main Street hiring tax credit up to $100 million. Those dollars are now made available when you hire a qualified employee, a tax credit up to $1,000, up to $100,000 if you're a small business owner uh, that you can receive in tax credits. That program begins tomorrow. December 1st. Again, go to covid19.ca.gov website just to provide basic information where you can go to learn more about this Main Street hiring tax credit. That program goes live again December 1st.